one of the commonest questions I get asked about in the clinic is the role of medicinal marijuana or cannabis and its role in Parkinson's or dementia or any of the uh, degenerative diseases of the brain. And the truth is that um, we probably don't know enough about medical marijuana to be sure as to whether it may have benefits or may not have benefits. But that is really the edge of the research that people are doing right now. We know with a, a, a thing like cannabis, it actually is made up of lots of different chemicals. And it may be that somewhere amongst those chemicals there is going to be something that is useful for some of the features that we see in degenerative diseases of the brain. Typically, um, people will be familiar that cannabis can cause relaxation, a reduction in anxiety, and we know that anxiety is a very common part across all of these degenerating diseases of the brain. So you can imagine it being helpful there. And similarly, in Parkinson's, for example, where we see people with tremor, we know that tremor is often made worse by anxiety. So the idea of a drug like cannabis helping with things like anxiety or tremor or indeed helping to relax someone and get better sleep is something that we could e easily consider. But at the moment, the state is very simple. The research that has been done to date, looking at various aspects of the treatment of um, Parkinson's disease and related conditions with cannabis, has really shown no benefits uh, for the use of cannabis and actually quite a high rate of problems, side effects. And those side effects can be demonstrated in a number of ways, um, becoming too sleepy, becoming confused, hallucinating, dropping the blood pressure, becoming unresponsive. So they're very serious potential side effects. So before anybody considers using street cannabis to help their symptoms, I think they really need to consider things very, very seriously and ideally go and discuss them with your specialist.